Hi students, now coming to the next topic, list and tuples. Some programming languages like Python provides a compound structure to implement the abstraction. This compound structure is called as pairs. So this pair is made up of list of tuples. Okay, so what is pair? Some programming languages like Python provides a compound structure to implement the data abstraction. This compound structure is called pairs. This pair is made up of list or tuples. Okay. So now let us see about list and tuples. First what do you mean by list? Sequence of values surrounded within square brackets and separated by commas sequence of values surrounded within square brackets and separated by commas okay this is called list and and what do you mean by tuples sequence of values surrounded within parentheses and separated by commas which means sequence of values surrounded within parentheses and separated by commas this is called tuples okay what is list a sequence of values surrounded within square brackets here what is tuples sequence of values surrounded within parentheses okay so this is list and this is tuple and next point list is used to do store different types of values different types of values but tuples are used to store same type of values okay a different type means what in a list we can store different types of values it may be integer type or floating point type or character type and so on you can store any type of values in a list for example, suppose you want to store the information about a person. Uh, you can write his name, his ID number and his phone number. You can write any type of values. Because here name is a character type, ID is an integer type and phone number is also integer type. So you can store any type of values in a list. But in a tuple, you can store same type of values. For example, take some colors color equal to red green here red is a character type and green also character type so you should store same type of values in a tuple okay next point is it is mutable mutable means what you can change the elements you can modify the elements those are available in a list okay here in tuple it is immutable Immutable means here the elements cannot be changed. You cannot change the elements of your tuple once it is assigned. Okay. The list and tuples can be accessed in two ways. First way is multiple assignment. What do you mean by multiple assignment? In this way, the elements are stored in a list and each element binds to a different name for example this is a list here 10 and 20 are the elements that are stored in a list these elements are separated by comma and surrounded within square brackets okay so this is called list here in a multiple assignment method each element in a list is bounded with another one name that is x will becomes 10 and y will becomes 20 okay 10 is assigned to x and 20 is assigned to y let us see the second method so second method for accessing elements in a list is by element selection operator here this operator is expressed by using square brackets so for example this element selection operator is expressed in square brackets here and here okay you can rewrite this list
so this is the another form where 0 10 here 0 is the index position and 10 is a value and here 1 is the index position and 20 is a value so here the values are bundled together okay two, these two values are bundled and these two values are bundled together so bundling of two values into one is called what pair so bundling of two values into one can be considered as pair so this list and tuples are called as pairs okay so let us write the pseudocode for this list and tuples okay so now let us write the pseudocode for rational numbers so we already discussed about rational numbers in previous video rational numbers having two parts what are they numerator and denominator this is the pseudocode for the list and this is the pseudocode for the tuples so let us take two values 10 and 20 for x y variables here 10 is a numerator and 20 is a denominator so it returns the numerator and denominator value in result so if you are calling numerator value x it returns the value that is present in zero position what is the meaning of this index position which means the x variable is stored in zero position so next if you are calling the denominator variable y it returns the value that is present in first position 10 is stored in 0 position and 20 is stored in first position okay so this is the pseudocode for list and this is the pseudocode for tuples here 1 and 2 is stored in tuple nums 1 is stored in 0th position and 2 is stored in first position you can see here 0 is the index position and 10 is a value which means the value 10 is stored in the position 0 here the value 20 is stored in the position 1 so this is called index position this is called value this is called index position this is called value similarly here two values are given 1 and 2 this 1 is stored in 0th position and 2 is stored in first position so this is the pseudocode for tuples so this is about list and tuples Okay.